Thank you very much, Max. It was interesting to see you being outside, even though everyone is inside right now. And we are also inside, inside of our Nintendo Red Cube right now. And I'm joined by a wonderful guest, namely Quentin. Hey, it's good to have hey. you here. Thank you very much, really excited. Yeah, and of course, Filippo is also going to join us because you're going to help us out with the gameplay. Yes. Because we are going to play Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and I'm excited for that one. Me too, actually. I'm, I'm really excited about this game. So I guess many of our audience members already know what it's about, but maybe you give us a quick introduction. What is Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle all about? So Mario plus Rabbit, as uh, his name points out, it's uh, Mario and the rabbits who just invaded the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. And they, as they are rabbits, they are crazy. Uh, they just s twisted the place. Everything is upside down. <laughs> and they are teaming up with uh, Mario and his uh, other Nintendo characters to save the Mushroom Kingdom. So the game is about exploration. And here, for example, we see we are in the spooky trail world. Yes. Uh, which is uh, spooky, and we can already see that the, the rabbits messed stuff around. Uh, so exploration first, and then we will move to the combat, which is the yes. core experience of the game. I mean, I, I really love how the mix of uh, this kind of uh, typical haunted house style of uh, uh, the Mario, like the, the words in, in, in the levels in which have booze uh, and uh, the haunted houses, and the mix of uh, rabbits. So if yeah, you can exactly. see the game uh, here now, we have. Uh, so for example, this. Dolls, yeah, let's uh, dive into the game right now. <laughs> yes. Um, so this uh, puppet <laughs> made like a, a rabbit, uh, made with string and and, and fabric. And uh, uh, actually, I this is something that uh, Quentin made me notice uh, earlier. There's like a, a pumpkin chain jump. And there are tons of uh, Easter eggs like that yes. throughout the game with all the Nintendo characters. And all the time there is that rabbit twist yeah. that uh, bring a little bit of uh, exactly. fun. And, uh, uh, and here we have uh, one of the classic uh, Mario challenges. It's a red coin challenge. So if people uh, manage to collect eight coins in time, you should have a pretty cool reward. Yeah, so this is, uh, again, how the, uh, these two game worlds, these two game systems are sort of combined, no? In a way, the classic uh, eight uh, uh, red coins classic, puzzle yeah. from Mario games. In this case, in uh, Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, uh, gives me a... A weapon. A new weapon. And you will need it because the challenger uh, is uh, pretty tough. Yeah, it's yes, Don't it worry, is. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> Actually, that's the thing. Like, in this segment, uh, at least I can, I can be guided uh, through the game uh, by by an expert, which is uh, yeah. quite nice uh, so for a change. <laughs> it's important to notice that we are pretty late in the game right now. We are near the end of the third world after oh. four. So, of course, uh, right now you are brought in the, in the heat of the battle. Um, but, of course, if you experience the game from the beginning, uh, you have the time and the progression uh, to, to, to face the, the, the challenge. Even though I, oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I just wanted to say, even though I might sound like a fanboy, I really love this combination of Rabbits and Mario because I love them both. Yeah. Right? Both worlds and the combining the quirkiness and, and fun of Rabbits with all the, the usual stuff that you already know and love from Mario, it's amazing. No, and it's really cool to see how the characters interact with yeah, each other. Exactly. On the Nintendo side, you have the, the characters, they are heroic, they are brave, and of course the rabbits are crazy. <laughs> uh, and it's interesting to see along the game how the Nintendo characters become a little bit more crazy and the rabbits become a little bit more heroic. They learn from each other. Yeah. So, um, uh, there is always an exploration phase and then uh, a battle phase. In this case, I want to solve a puzzle and uh, I, need to, I need to play something on this pedestal yep. in order to lower this wall. So I will go down here. Perfect. Wow. Um, well, in the exploration phase, the characters are, are guided by Beepo, Beepo. that is uh, this, uh, uh, this rabbit-eared uh, electronic Roomba. Uh. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like it, right? Small, uh, robot, and he, I, he's the clever one. Uh, yeah. He's the one that is uh, understanding what's happening and trying to help the heroes as much as we can. He's also unlocking new abilities to allow them to reach new uh, areas on the, the battlefield. And, uh, He's also sometimes a little bit the uh, sarcastic one in the group. <laughs> I'm honestly thinking about upgrading my vacuum cleaner with ears like that. It's oh, yeah. amazing. <laughs> uh, be sure to send us. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we are offending a lot of developers by saying that. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. It's a robot. <laughs> really. It's okay. We all love people. <laughs> I actually uh, really like it. Yeah. And here comes the battle. So as soon as the hero cross the two uh, black flags, it means that we enter the battle. 
Here we have a look around. Here, the objective of the battle, we can see it on the top right corner, it's a rich area. Yes. So we don't have to defeat all the enemies. The most important thing to do is to put a hero in the yellow zone at yeah. the end of the battle. So we start from here, and the uh, yellow zone that we need to reach is mm. all the way, way up there. there. So it might seem far, but it's not that much. As you can see, there are a lot of pipes that yes. enable a lot of circulation and movement in the map. But of course, if you can circulate, the enemies can uh, circulate. Yeah, I, I didn't make it, though. So I'm excited to see <laughs> how you solve it. The enemies have every, basically almost every skill yeah. that you have. Yeah. They have the same uh, skill set, in a way. So uh, if, they, if you can go through a pipe, they can go through a pipe. And if you can jump, piggyback off of a, of an alley, they can do the same. And they know how to play the game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, first, we go into the battle HQ yeah. to prepare for battle. Let's get ready. So we see that it's a reach. The map is pretty big, so we'll try to focus a little bit on mobility. So first, we will select our team. Yeah. So Mario is the leader. He will always be in the team. And there will always be a rabbit as well. They are a little bit narcissistic and jealous, so it's important yes. to have them uh, represented there. <laughs> and they uh, need to provide the comic relief. Uh, of course. Uh, so, yeah, Luigi is a very good choice in that map. He has a lot of mobility yeah. it's with a double team jump. Very high damage, very, very low HP. So better put him in a safe position. It actually sounds like Luigi. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think because I'm reading there, like, the primary weapon is precision. So because I noticed yeah. this big, big area, he can shoot very far yeah, away. With very the... far away. And uh, especially there are some high grounds on the map as well. If you manage to hit him there, you will get a damage buff from, ah, uh, okay. from the high So you get uh, extra damage if you're from, if you're attacking from the high ground. And then we get some raw damage yeah. instead. Raw damage, with, uh, mobility. And, uh, and that one is probably the crazier of the crazy. I love the crazier so of much. the rabbits. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so then we can buy maybe a couple of weapons yeah. as well. Uh, uh, so, so each weapon comes with different stats, different playstyle, and different uh, super effects. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the case of Mario, for example, you have honey or bounce. I would suggest the bounce. Yeah. Yeah. So honey gets the enemy stuck yeah. in place and they cannot move anymore. Whereas bounce gives it, gives it a chance to bounce. And if you push them out of the bounce of the map, you can actually get a, a bonus damage. damage. Yeah. That bounce them. And of course, each hero has a primary weapon and a secondary weapon. Uh, in the case of Mario, it's a... Uh, well, what could it be? I don't know. <laughs> the hammers, of course. <laughs> and uh, again, here, I guess we're going to go for yeah. uh, bounce as well, right? Because you want to try to push as many of the enemies. Any, yeah. Then you can also trigger some combos with the bounce. Uh, and you just want the enemies to leave you alone here, so you yes. can just uh, move far. So then we have, uh, uh, then we have uh, uh, Rabbit Yoshi. Rabbit Yoshi with the Rumble Bang. And uh, yeah, this is like a, a Gatling gun in a yeah. way, no? Like uh, it's kind of a tons of projectiles. So what we oh, yep. I guess we're going too far. So we, in the game, you almost just unlocked Rabbit Yoshi okay. at that stage, so that's why you don't have a lot of uh, weapons. Okay, on. okay. And because all of these weapons, they need to be found. Yeah, in, like find them in the world by completing battles or finding the chest as we did before. And you collect coins to be able to... Yeah. Of course. So, uh, what do you think is the best uh, of uh, these uh, Rumble Banks? I would, it's up to you. Uh, I like the push. Yeah. Uh, the stone is also pretty good. Uh, the stone it petrifies the enemies and lets them... Yeah. Um, they don't act for a turn. It cannot do anything yeah. for okay. them until the end of the turn. Okay. Let's go for push again. Uh, let's go. Something more dynamic. <laughs> and then... Uh, oh, well, I mean... I don't know what it does, but I have to choose <laughs> the, grenade, the, the grenade that looks like a rubber duck with Sam Fisher's uh, yeah. the uh, visor. Sam King Fisher. <laughs> good choice. Sam King Fisher, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a good name, yeah. Uh, and let's equip our Luigi. And then okay. we have Luigi. So Luigi has, uh, as we said, this precision uh, weapon. And I like the fact that some of them look a bit like uh, vacuum cleaners yeah, from uh, uh, the, the the Luigi's the Mansion, no? Which also fits again the theme, the spooky theme of the, of the game. Of this, uh, sorry, of this level, uh, we go for bounce also for him. Yeah, I think let's okay. make them bounce all over the okay. place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean the rabbits. Yeah. The end. Uh, and uh, I, I think actually this one, this this uh, this is a sentry, so yeah. it, it drives to the enemy position and then explodes. Yeah. As long as it doesn't reach the enemy, we'll keep following them until ah. uh, they reach the enemy. So it it can be a good decoy. It deals a lot of damage. Yeah. So really interesting. It's almost like an additional player. Yeah. In a way, an additional character. And then, uh, actually, something that uh, um, I haven't seen in the demos yep. that uh, we've uh, that I've seen before uh, this summer, uh, we can really set skills for uh, all of these characters, and uh, we can develop them in in ways that make them uh, personal to us. That, that uh, we can customize them really. So, um, I think uh, before this, I've already changed the 
uh, I've already uh, spent some points to give Luigi some abilities. Yeah. So, for example, Team Jump, which is a very, very big uh, part of the movement phase in this game, yeah. allows you to jump from enemy to enemy. Uh, we can do it twice with Luigi. With Luigi. So uh, because he's, oh, most of the time you need to put him pretty far, he has a good range and low HP, but thanks to the double team jump, he can really go uh, and reach the other players, uh, the other heroes uh, really fast. So it's a really good, uh, really good combo, and I think you also focused a bit on the techniques, yes. especially the steely stare, uh, which is very, very powerful. It enables uh, the Luigi to react and shoot at any enemy that is moving in his yeah. line of sight. Even if it's not his turn. Yeah. yeah. So even when the enemies, when you're not moving, when your turn is over and the enemies are moving, if they pass over, they, you automatically shoot them. So here, what I did is I I spent some point to increase its damage uh, um, and uh, reduce, the uh, reduce the cooldown. For example, then I've also added some point in the other so that I have more movement uh, uh, if I go through pipes. Uh, I, we did something similar for uh, uh, Rabbit Yoshi. Rabbit Yoshi has, is the only one that can dash uh, over several characters. So again, in the movement phase, you can still do damage to the enemies. Uh, we're going to show it, yeah. actually, yeah, uh, no. in, the, in the gameplay. I'm actually but quite excited to see how the enemies is go are going to behave, because I always love watching their steps. Uh, and especially in that map, there are a lot of uh, yep. chaos that is brought thanks to the enemies and other elements that we will uh, discover and it's really cool to see that map because every time we see someone playing it something different yeah um, so now I think I bought most mm. of um, yeah maybe yeah, some, yeah. dash damage yes. some stomp damage and uh, stomp is uh, up there oh, yeah I could do the cleansing jump so yeah. if I jump on my allies and they have uh, like a negative status effect I, I can sort of uh, cleanse, cleanse, them. cleanse yeah. them yes yeah. I think it's okay for now. Let's just dive into the battle. Let's go. Um, Sounds good. And five. Left or right? Yeah, so... Uh, I, I usually go for, right. Yeah, yeah. I, because he told me before that the left path is more challenging. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna go I, for that. I didn't path. even make it in, on the right side, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I want to show people, like, uh, a good challenge. Proper challenge. Okay. So, uh, here, first of all, I take this pipe. I can immediately go... The blue is uh, represents my movement range. And you can see that if I sit, if I stay behind one of these walls, I immediately get covered. Yeah. There is a difference, right, between these two? So the small ones are half covered. They have half a chance, to, uh, fifty percent of chance of protecting you, and the full cover protects you one hundred percent. Okay, you can see it from the icon. Yeah. Okay. And before, uh, oh, sorry. So as oh, we said yes. before, it's really important to use your movement uh, phase as yeah. much as you can and try to optimize it. So it's okay. You will probably survive, but. We will see with the other characters that you can dash the enemies while moving for a little bit of extra damage. And here we have the hero side, which is a bit like Steely Stair. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So if they are moving, Mario will uh, react and, uh, and shoot at them. So maybe uh, you said that uh, because he has low HP, maybe we move him la yeah, uh, last, let's right? Yeah, let's in for the, the last, and especially with the double team jump, he will be able to use the two uh, characters. Uh. So what I do now, I do what I should have done dash before, once, so dash. And even twice. Uh, and twice, and then I'm actually going behind cover. I like how you can really combine yeah. all of the skills in the order you prefer. And it looks so cool. Bam! Bam! <laughs> and I can still attack now. So... Mm, yeah. Lurking around the corner. I think he's gonna... That's oh, he's been pushed. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well done. So now I actually could use this shield just to... The shield or the other technique, uh, right. which is the scary new rabbit, that will repel the enemies. If they are repelled, they will move. Mario, uh, Mario has activated his hero, his hero side, so let's see what happens. So we can try to make them combo yep. each other, basically. The enemy moves. <laughs> Mario reacts. Mario <laughs> Once, twice. Good. Wow. Good and now one. we have our Luigi. Then Luigi, let's make him team jump over here. Yep. And so that you can shoot 
Uh, Let's try to finish the, yes. the Valkyrie. Yeah, and you were also able to see right now that you don't really need to go to the coins. You can just like yeah, if collect you, them. Yeah, uh, you can pick up them just with uh, moving around the, the cursor uh -oh. on them. Yeah. There are a little bit of extra coins. The, the majority of your coins yeah. receive them from uh, completing the battle. Here there are some uh, extras that you can get from destroying covers. Because the covers, of course, they are the the, the, the bricks, uh, the well-known bricks for Mario. And if you break them, of course, you get uh, coins. Um, do you think I should uh, activate this lister now, or should I keep it for the there next There are turn? some enemies on the map, uh, and they will probably oh, yeah, try to move, so I would really suggest to uh, activate it. Just, yeah, just to be safe. Just okay. in case. So, now, we have the boo here. Yeah. So can you explain a bit how they work? So the boos, they are not really enemies. They are kind of neutral elements that you will find in some maps of uh, spooky trails. And uh, basically what they do, if a character, enemy or ally, is uh, pathing close to them, I will grab them, mm. follow them everywhere, and at the end of the player turn, like that, so here the enemy just uh, were, uh, was just grabbed by a boo, and at the end of the hero turn, the boo will teleport uh, uh, the, the character in a random place. Okay. And of course, by random, most of the time, it's not really where you want to <laughs> So we triggered uh, uh, the uh, Steely Stare from yep. Luigi. Uh, is, that, is that inspired by uh, the uh, Luigi Death Stare? If <laughs> you look at the icon, uh, you might see some similarities uh, in the way uh, Luigi is looking at uh, I like uh, yours. So actually, this uh, block now changed. Yeah, yep. so those are explosive covers. Some of the covers actually uh, have uh, explosive covers inside if you damage them. And those covers uh, provide a status effect if they uh, explode uh, close okay. to you. So I should not activate it now with Luigi's... Uh, uh, so like better uh, stay away from there. Let's, so let's start moving Mario yeah. first. And uh, um, I can't go into the pipe if I no. jump. No. So let's right? try to make the best out of it. You can team jump on Luigi and land on the enemy. That's oh, yes. the, the, the signature move of Mario, the stomp. So Mario is the only one that can yeah. attack from the from, from the uh, team jump. landing on top of an enemy to damage him. And wow, and, and you, you can, can further jump as yeah. well. But, uh, so maybe I can place him. Mm, should I still be on cover? Yeah, always uh, stay in cover. So maybe either here I would say. Yeah, or that's good. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So jump, attack, and move. Nice. Well. I mean, Mario is the one that should be able to jump over everybody. And, and they can still can. shoot now. Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, it's also a good opportunity to... Yes. Yeah. I think... I'm, also because everybody's in range. Yeah. So that's the Empower, one of Mario's ability to buff the damage mm -hmm. of the teammates. And here, it's the perfect option to use it. All your teammates are in range, and you will receive 20% extra damage from it. <laughs> I always love how much time you should actually invest into positioning all your characters because it's so important. Like, usually I tend to rush into the enemy and try to damage him or throw him off. But if you are on a bad place afterwards, they make use of it yeah. immediately. The, 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 you really need to make the best out of your movement, of yeah. course, offensive wise, by uh, using the dash, the stomp, the team jump. But your placement is crucial. Uh, because, of course, the enemies can move a lot of, as well. And if you are not in a good position, uh, you might uh, regret it the next turn. Okay. So, now, I could attack, uh, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, the game... Don't uh, do it! No, 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 no I'm not. <laughs> uh, what, I, what I wanted to say here is that I like the fact that uh, the game automatically brings you into a character, it makes you move, then it makes you attack, then it makes you use the ability. But you are absolutely not forced to do that in that order. Yeah. You can mix and match everything in any way you want in order to be flexible. So now I moved, uh, I did a, a jump, and I did a, sorry, I did a slide on uh, on uh, the uh, rabbit with uh, um, Rabbit Yoshi. Yeah. Then I bring him on cover, but instead of shooting, now I'm moving Luigi away so that then I can shoot him later. So maybe we should wait for the next turn to move Luigi over there because he will be alone. And uh, it's always uh, tricky, so maybe put it in cover over there. Okay. So let's do this. And now that the uh, super, co the explosive cover is uh, is free, then you can shoot at the enemy. I can shoot at the enemy, yeah. but I will sh I will hit him instead of hitting you the will, cover. You will destroy the cover. That mm -hmm. will trigger the, the super effect. Whoa. Bam! Bam! And the super effect is a vampire. So now the enemy is vampirized. Every time you will damage him, you will get some uh, else point. Uh, ah, so I'm draining life yeah. from him and I'm getting it for myself. Wow, okay, that's cool. But I'm still not done because I still have one attack. Mm. And uh, I mean, I think he does not. He will not have a lot of time <laughs> to be vampirized. To and with a critical push out of the bounds, uh, nice. definitely a lot of. And you get some HP back. 
You but now, do I get the boo? Like, the boo is staying there now. The boo so, is here. So I just pass the turn to the enemy? Yeah, you can. There is I not much else for you to do. You could use the shield, but it's not really... Uh, you are not really I'll in danger keep, I'll right keep now, the so cooldown for the next. Better keep it yeah. for... Uh, uh. And here we see the boos up, and they will teleport the enemy uh, actually in a good position for you, because it's uh, pretty far away. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you have the fast forward button yeah. that you can use it, but I actually just love to see what they are exactly doing. And here we can see that the enemies, of course, they also can use pipes. He is grabbing a boo once again. Nice. I'm, I, I, li I, like, I like that they're playing to exactly two. <laughs> They're just making themselves be grabbed by the boos. Yeah. So. And here we see a new archetype. Those are the Picaboos, and they can teleport themselves. Uh, with a, in a, within a very big range, uh, which can be uh, tricky. So now it's time to really move forward. Uh, as we yeah. said, it's a rich area, so we need to get there to the as fast as guy. possible. So it's like a rabbit with a flame on his head, with a leather <laughs> hat, and uh, like no legs. And he's a ghost. And he can teleport, and he can scare people as he well? He can uh, scare people, or he attracts people. Attracts people, people. okay. Okay, that's, uh, it's gonna take a bit to process, but... Uh, <laughs> it's all right. Uh, okay, so again, let's start... Uh, well, let me get some coins with the cursor, and then I'll start by moving Mario again. Yeah. I think I can bring him now on the other side. Ooh, Perfect. It's kind of... Okay, so first we slide on him. Maybe you could uh, bring Rabbit Yoshi instead. Ah, because he can do it more than once, yeah. so... And then yeah. you'll be able to team jump on Rabbit Yoshi to do a dash and a stomp. Yes, oh, this, is, this is why you need a, a developer yeah, to explain the I wanted the combo, to say, it totally combo. feels like you played that before. Uh, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. I spent a little bit of time... Uh, so maybe I can put him here? Do you uh, think he's going to be too not far? Too far not too far because you won't be able to team jump. I actually love maybe having the booth here. around because they save me from time to time. Oh, really? Yeah, that happened before. Like I was in a fight and I was about to get knocked off and then he randomly placed me somewhere else. Ah, okay, I love that. So, okay. Uh, nice. Well, most of the time, they are not. Yeah, that, I know. They are not that grateful against the boot. Maybe you get lucky sometimes. sometimes. So they don't. They, they get damage at the same rate, right? Yeah. The, the two, like the two yeah. rabbits, they get the same. Yeah. Okay. Well, these guys. This sometimes one. you have weapons that have specific bonus against specific enemies, but uh, in this case, it's, it's not the case. Uh, let's go uh, Mario. Ah no, Mario first. Yes, Mario first. We go here. We <laughs> slide. Uh, then we team jump and... So you won't be able... If you uh, dash, you okay. cannot stomp the, the, the enemy. But the, but the stomp is uh, higher. More powerful. So but at the same time, you could reach higher with the team jump. It's up to you. Let's oh. just a bit so that we show something different. We show this. Then we go back into yep. cover here. Perfect. Yes! Oh. Nice. 30. <laughs> and... <laughs> I would not. Sh oh, yes, it's you're okay. right. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, no, but he didn't die, no. so it's okay. Yeah. Because of course, if the enemy is knocked down, the boo uh, will stay in position and be ready to catch the next character. Someone so else, yeah. Passing this way. So you think then I shouldn't slide on him? Uh, no, uh, the slide is okay. You will do 20 damage as you okay. as you can see below, so that's fine. And then you can team jump uh, to a safe spot. Yeah, perfect. Are you okay so far with the way Filippo is playing? Uh, it's okay. So far, it's okay. Uh, I've seen much worse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like you were here yesterday when uh, I played. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll just activate the Steely Stair just in case. Yep. It's active again. And you said better not to defeat No, him. now it's okay. The boo will stay here. Uh, ah, because he's yeah, not catching moving. other movement, yes. Uh -oh. uh, and once again, it's really important to, of course, a lot of stuff is happening right now, but we just teleported you like a quarter, a three quarter yes. into the game. Uh, so a lot of stuff is happening. I was not uh, expecting a perfect run uh, anyway. But uh, yeah, I mean, we've seen the early, much earlier levels uh, of the game. Yeah. Uh, earlier uh, at E3 and uh, then uh, over the course of the summer. Yeah. Oh, the wow! Here yeah, we can see the incredible range of uh, Luigi. Yeah. Oh, and bounce. Go back where you were. And three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Well, next time. <laughs> okay. Next time. Next, next time, maybe it'll be lucky. Um, so this is a, instead a special ability of the Valkyrie, which yep. is a special type of rabbit, of enemy rabbit. So it's called the Protect. 
see they can do it too. And so what it does is uh, it will uh, absorb some of the damage that its uh, allies are uh, are taking. Okay. Uh, so let's see who can reach the pipe apart from uh, Luigi. Can somebody? Mm. They are all a little bit too far for Mario. Yeah. Okay. So uh, is it? Can you scroll over there on the left side? I, yeah. I mean, I can. I can ah, probably yeah, okay. defeat this Valkyrie in by the time yeah. with all the uh, attacking with everybody. Um, so maybe I start with dash. Dash. Then you can probably team jump on Mario to get behind the, the cover. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, even the music has uh, is a bit of a riff on the haunted house yep. uh, type of. Uh, the, 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 the music in the game is uh, always uh, on point. Uh, Grant Kirkhope is uh, the, the yes. composer for the, the music and he did an amazing job uh, throughout the, the whole game experience, especially in Spooky. Um, and if you saw the, the, the Phantom trailer, which is the, the final boss fight uh, of this world, uh, you can see some uh, really nice uh, opera thinking rabbit phantom stuff. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there is definitely a, a high quota of crazy uh, going on in this game. <laughs> In That's what you expect, right? <laughs> no, no, in a good way. I mean, yeah. yeah, of course, that's, that's exactly what you want. Yeah, so okay. here we slide and just I push myself. Not so much in his cover, but I should be able. We should be able yeah. to. Yeah. Now I still have one attack with. Uh, or do I? Seven HP. Oh, here aside. Side, away. And uh, I still have the ah, attack. You can even yeah, dash. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, I could just dash into him. Yes. Just and as a taunt to your enemies, like, yeah, I don't like, even yeah, need to I shoot I don't you. even need to use weapons. Should I uh, go here? And, uh, yeah, okay. You you will need the two characters alive to, to go there. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking uh, where I can, because I don't place fight, anybody in cover if, if I do. If team jump on Mario, can, uh, no, that's okay. Better to stay here. No, I don't want to go there with yeah. just Luigi, as you said. Let, I just put him here. Are you, and you forgot to dash. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I... Yeah, so now I could, we use weapons. Instead. Yeah, I could have used the weapon to attack somebody else, but... But you still uh, have seen worse, right? Sorry? You still have seen worse, <laughs> Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Much worse. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Philip. <laughs> I had fine, to. It's fine. I'm... And now we have two peekaboos that are going to spawn right now. So let's see uh, what they are going to do. Unfortunately, as they teleport, they, are, they do not trigger the hero sight. Ah, okay, because they disappear completely instead of and moving. And we lost Luigi. Okay. It's okay. Oh. It was a decoy. And that's the... the oh, so now it's uh, getting a bit worse. Mm. So, so the situation changed completely. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we uh, really try to, to reach as a balance in the game. Like, it's a tactical game. You have to think about it. You have to plan your strategy. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, during the enemy turn, there is always the unexpected that is going to happen. So here, for example, the, the, the peekaboo attracted you, which made you move through a boo, so the boo grabbed you, and now you just need to adapt your strategy. But actually, it's I not that bad. I just wanted to see how much movement I can do with... Uh, so... We are in a good shape. Don't fall. In theory, I could uh, bring uh, one one between Mario and uh, Rabbit Yoshi here, and... the uh, and Use team jump, team yeah. jump to go up. So as Mario uh, is uh, grabbed by a boo, he will be teleported next yeah. time. So, so I use it would him. be better to use him as a support yeah. and a decoy. So we can maximize, yeah. say, his usefulness here. Yeah, yes, perfect. Should be good. And I could even. You should be able to, yeah, at least defeat that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's very good. And, uh, and Rabbit Yoshi can come later on. Team jump. Uh, I hope I will be able to uh, survive okay. uh, the next turn. You have your you have your shield uh, ready. Good thing we used it. Uh, we did not use it before. Yeah. And um, first I attack this guy. I would say. Yeah. Yes. And uh, the push nice. obey. Perfect. I still, I still, still will use the shield just in case. <laughs> but next turn we should be able. So Mario, bye get bye Mario. Is the way? Pretty far away. <laughs> so in this situation, it's actually 
the rapids are really saving the day. By the way, I, I extremely love these tentacles oh, playing the they, harp. They, in each world, we, we call them our musical props. So in each world, uh, you have props like that. So in this case, it's those weird plant harp yeah. things. And they always play in rhythm with the music. Uh, it's really cool to just wow. stop playing and have a look at uh, how they play. So in Ancient Garden, it's flowers who play like trumpets. And oh, Mario is getting a hard time right now. Yeah, I think I, I think I will not get a perfect. Uh, no, this time. no, no, no. Uh, but I ne I actually never noticed uh, what you just pointed out. This uh, musical process is actually a super nice touch. It is. No misclick, and we should be alright. <laughs> Wow. Make us proud, Philip. That's that's uh, uh, how long my reputation has gone in just two live streams. <laughs> I'm so I got sorry. Already, like, completely. <laughs> okay. I'm just happy that I didn't have to do it because I'm so <laughs> terrible at it. Okay. It's a wonderful game. Perfect. Fantastic. Good. Perfect. But uh, good job. But but we passed. But we passed. We've seen this. Yes. Um, you said you said to me that uh, there is a world record for this uh, stage, which so is how many so turns? Far, the world record is uh, two turns. Wow! Just for, uh, uh, and I encourage, as soon as the game is released, and it's pretty soon, uh, try to finish that map, that specific map, in two turns. And I'm really uh, hoping that we will see some uh, crazy stuff. Wow. I can say it. I am the one holding the. Oh, ah, okay. I okay. see. <laughs> so who is it again? Uh, the one with the world record? I think it, uh, ah. no, it's a developer from, uh, from no, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Okay. Uh, and here, once again, with the, 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 the rhythm, we just finished a tough battle, so time to explore, relax a little bit. Uh, but of course, we don't want just to relax, we will have to think a bit. Yeah. Now with some uh, puzzles, uh, so along the way you will find puzzles to either find some rewards or unlock your way until the, the next areas. Perfect. So here we have a, a classic of puzzles, yeah. the Lasers. laser and mirrors. And I like that it's actually like a big torch light. I, it's still a rabbit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, I think, uh, so we have these pillars. You yeah. remember before we did with the statues on, on the pillars? Yeah, so sure. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Ah, yeah, there's a statue there. Oh, and actually, sorry. Yeah, no. uh, the loot is loot. <laughs> I have to take it. So let's look into it for like 30 seconds. Uh, for like more like yeah, 30 no, seconds. Yeah, I just want because to give an idea of the Exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. I don't want to solve it. Also, I don't want to spoil everything for everybody. Yeah, that's So good. let's go for the blue one for now. Okay. And nothing sure. happens. I'm really, really sorry, okay. Filippo. We let's have to cut. end right here. So thank you very much, Quentin, thank for you very coming much. by. Really what a, excited to be here. Yeah, what a fantastic game. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to play more of this. And as you said before, to see people actually do it in different ways, because I guess there are, like you said, this surprise yeah. factor brings you different games every time you play it. And that's what I love about it. And the quirky and fun character of Rabbit combined with Mario. Fantastic job. And so. it's very soon, because it's released, released in less than a week now. So uh, 29th of August. Really excited. I can yeah. wait. I can wait. Yeah, I think the guys at Gamescom here can't wait as well, but they don't have to wait for much longer, at least for the signing session of Charles Martinet. He's going to be on stage after this show right now, and then you guys can grab an uh, autograph. And I hope this was of uh, interest for you guys out there. Thank you so much for tuning in, if you're tuning in through the live stream. And of course, thank you very much for your attention at the battle stage. And if Quentin is around, maybe just go to him and get an uh, autograph from him as well. He's the world record holder. Don't forget that. So <laughs> thank you very much. And I hope that you guys will join us again oh one information the signing session is not on the stage is it's at the side of the stage so just so you know so thank you very much again and then i hope to see you guys in the next stream i think it's going to be in like do you know it i think About at three o'clock yeah. yeah it's something really special and it's super mario odyssey so see you guys later goodbye <laughs> thank you